what are the applications of cathode ray oscilloscope? CRO is a very versatile instrument that is used for a variety of applications. Some of these applications are as follows. Observation of waveforms. CROs are mainly used to observe waveforms. Ordinary CROs are normally capable of operation in tens of megahertz range. Special purpose CROs are available that can operate in gigahertz range. In storage oscilloscopes, the signal can be stored and retrieved as and when required. The next is measurement of voltage. CROs are voltage dependent instruments and can be used for the measurement of voltages at any frequency within the range of the operation of the CRO. To measure voltages, the input voltage is applied on the vertical deflection plates and appropriate sweep to the horizontal deflection plates. Then comes the measurement of current. Current cannot be directly measured with the CRO. To measure the current, a known resistance is taken and the potential drop across the resistance is determined with the help of measurement of potential at both ends of the resistor. This voltage difference divided by the considered resistant value gives the amount of current flows in the device. Measurement of frequency. The measurement of frequency is indirect with the CRO. The time period of the input signal is determined with the help of a CRO and the frequency of the input signal is the reciprocal of this time period. The signal whose frequency is to be measured is applied as usual to the vertical deflection plates of the CRT along with the sweep voltage to horizontal deflection plates. Now let's look into Lissajous figures. Lissajous figures are geometrical figures obtained as a result of the compounding of two simple harmonic waveforms. The two waveforms are applied to the vertical and horizontal deflection plates of the CRO respectively. It will represent a set of figures called Lissajous figures. Lissajous figures for two identical signals. Lissajous figure for two signals which are out of phase. Lissajous figures of complex waveform. With the help of these figures, one can determine the ratio of the amplitudes of the signals when the frequency is identical and the two signals are in phase. Determine the phase difference between the two signals of the same frequency or determine the unknown frequency of a given signal when the frequency of the other signal is known.